heard about like five or six gunshots. Panic on Inca Street. It was like pop, 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 pop. We didn't even know what's going on. We are just coming around the corner. Confusion. Mayhem. There's two officers that are down. There's a barricaded suspect inside the house. One of the officers went to the side window. And then he walked out and then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. And he got him and he laid him out on the sidewalk. All I know is they're getting rushed to Denver Health right now. Just give me some space. We're on the corner, so. Those concerned sit and watch. And they've got two officers that they've transported to the um, hospital right now, guarded. And pray for those involved. Well, absolutely Hell. terrible. You know, I mean, why would anybody take a shot at somebody just out here to protect us? I just pray for the officers that they're okay. All right. Two officers down and a barricaded suspect turns into a standoff. It does look like some snipers to me. You said four shots? And friends make sure those told to stay inside are safe. Can you see me through the window? Yeah, no, I'm fine. The first responders were just kind of running running towards what, what seemed to be the scene. After three hours of waiting, they start to make their way in. Another hour. I've been here all day and I didn't see the flames. Obviously he didn't come out, so if he's still in there, he's, he's fried. The fire is out. The officers will recover. The standoff over. I just, it's crazy. Like, there's so many. In Denver. It's just crazy. Yeah, there's too many students going on. Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7.